Hi, welcome to another episode of Secure Hacks Weekly. This time we're going to discuss how to perform a memory dump, which is a very useful activity or sometimes even a necessary activity while there is an incident and you need to collect the evidence in order to learn what happened. Memory dump in general is useful in order to investigate what's running because whatever runs it's in a memory. So for example, if there is any kind of a malicious code that is running in a memory of of the legit process, then you would be able to extract that information, that piece of code, if you do have a memory dump. Of course, we all know that memory dump or memory itself, it's uh, volatile. Therefore, uh, in order to do the memory dump, uh, you need to uh, make sure that everything works smoothly. You need to have already good tools prepared and you need to know all the conditions that are necessary uh, to be successful because sometimes you can actually experience uh, a blue screen. While we are doing, of course, a memory dump, there's a bunch of good techniques that you can apply. For example, uh, it's um, absolutely um, interesting that not all of the memory acquisition tools uh, can actually uh, complete the memory uh, dump uh, while there is a VSM enabled. So while you've got a virtual secure mode enabled. Uh, but uh, of course, uh, whenever we are thinking about some successful dumping dumping tools. Here we tested the Belka soft RAM capture and also dump it. Uh, but for us, um, if I was saying if we were using the FTK imager at the moment this video was recorded, uh, we were uh, getting the blue screens. And VSM, of course, is not really the only um, reason why you can experience um, the the blue screen uh, and uh, that is uh, simply uh, coming from the from the fact of how the drivers that are used within the uh, memory dumping tools are written and uh, maybe that could be even a case of an accident that the blue screen is going to happen so that's something that you can expect but in order to minimize the risk uh, you need to use a tested by yourself a tool and in order to be an efficient uh, person who does the memory dump you need to make sure that you are staying all up to date with uh, all the tools working in certain conditions so this is just to give you a heads up that uh, for the time we are recording this video you are able to successfully do the memory dump with the dump it tool which is written by uh, Matthew Sush. so uh, let me of course start a demonstration let's dig in so what you see on the screen right now, it's just simply a console running with us an administrator, with administrator's privileges. And we're going to launch Dumpit, which is an amazing tool that is uh, very respected and used by us by years, written by Matthew Sush. And within this tool, we are performing the memory dump on the external and to the external drive. So we run Dumpit from the external uh, disk and we are dumping, of course, um, the output to the external disk. That takes a while, uh, but here we just run the command Dumpit slash o and then we specify the name of a file of course that name of a file here on the video it's a windows 10 evidence but it's a good practice to use not only the windows version but also date and time uh, during which you are performing the memory dump because when you're going to have multiple file dumps to analyze it would be great not only to differentiate by time but also to differentiate by version so that you can use appropriate volatility module uh, to analyze that memory dump to be just simply more efficient and faster uh, in terms of uh, extracting information from the dump itself. And um well, yes, you need to always uh, wait a second. Uh, we are keeping it realistic uh, over here. And uh, for that for that reason, you can see that uh, that processing part, uh, it's just simply uh, takes a while. And uh, this is this is the moment where uh, all of the all of the memory is being stored uh, to the disk. Now, uh, we always have to remember about the good practice. Let me mention that too as well, that we always um, keep and do the memory dump first and then we do the disk dump second and that is um, not not, not really the, the good practice over there, but I would say a necessity because uh, this is something that uh, simply 
affects when you perform the memory dump, the operations um, in some way uh, that, that could be also recorded on the disk. For example, any kind of activity could impact as well um, the, the USN journal. But one of the most important things as well here to notice is that, uh, as I mentioned, memory is volatile, which means that um, the, like the faster we perform the, the memory dump, the better. And that's always one of the, one of the requirements over here. And uh, also when we look into uh, some, some other good practices here, um, what is uh, important is that um, uh, whenever, whenever we are thinking about different different uh, tools uh, and different devices that's all that must be must be tested and um, what is important is that the uh, suspect's uh, device so the computer and so on uh, should never be used should never be uh, touched to store any kind of a captured information uh, and and uh, the data so this information must be always stored on the external uh, storage devices uh, and um what is important is that this will give us always a context of um, what at that certain moment happened uh, in the uh, in the in the attack uh, hopefully so over here you can see that we finished doing the dump and that took us a um, certain time so um here we've got also the uh, schwa 256 calculated and uh, there's also the path to json and uh, this is something that we need to also store uh, so regarding regarding this uh, when we're going to be analyzing that particular dump we need to make sure that this hasn't been touched and also it's super important to do the copy of it so let's just um, demonstrate it we are doing the copy of the dump and then of course we keep the original dump uh, somewhere out there uh, in the safe location and uh, over here, we can also use the search util hash file. And then we've got a Windows 10 analysis dump. And then we've got our uh, SHUA 256 that we are calculating. Uh, once again, of course, the algorithm here is the, is the one of your choice, um, depending on a project. But that, uh, for example, is a good choice. Yeah, so here we can do the echo and also store it um, as hash to for the reference uh, to support the other file and then we can do the file compare and as you can see uh, of course these two files are simply uh, the same uh, and um, we can we can start the further uh, analysis over here so hopefully this was interesting pretty straightforward because dump it just works very smoothly but it's important to know all the background and the real need of using the reliable good tools because uh, really the worst thing that we can encounter over there it's a blue screen uh, during the uh, memory dumping operation so hopefully that was useful and uh, please let us know if you have any questions and uh, we absolutely hope uh, to see you um, in the further episodes of the Secure Hacks Weekly. Thank you so much for watching.